Oh, sorry, just hold on a second, guys. If I can pause this conversation, I'm just getting a call on my mobile telephone. Hello? Hey, baby. How are you? Oh, me? I'm just out for a uh, coffee. Yeah, coffee with my boyfriends. Yeah, you know my boyfriends. Bro, Zach and Ed. Yeah, just grabbing coffee. Coffee with them old uh, boyfriends. Okay, great. I'll pick that up on my way home. Okay. Love you. Bye. Me, me, me. What did you just say? What? To your girlfriend, what did you just say? Oh, I see what's going on here. A bit of rusing from my boyfriends, hey? Yes, I love my girl. Love is real. Deal with it, boyfriend. Mark, yeah. did you just call us your boyfriends? Yes. Why? Why? Oh, girls get to have coffee with their girlfriends. Girls get to go to the movies with their girlfriends. Girls get to have tampon parties with their girlfriends. Well, me? I want a tampon party with my boyfriends, dag nugget! Mark, I think I speak for the entire group when I say you calling us your boyfriends is by far and away the best idea I've ever heard in my entire life. In fact, yeah, hello darling, how are you going? Yeah, good, good, good. I'm just having coffee. Yeah, coffee with my boyfriends. No, 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 my boyfriends. You know, Mark, Zach and Brendine, my boyfriends. What? Well, that's a little bit rude, don't you think? Oh, all right, bye. Hey, that was sick. Watch this. Excuse me, barrister, but our table of boyfriends over here has finished our cappuccinis, but we're having such a good old-fashioned chinwag that we decided that this table of boyfriends is going to have another round of coffees, you fuck. Yeah, all right, all right, I can get in on this. Yeah. I can get in on this. Yeah. Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, these three men here that I share this table with are my boyfriends. All three of them, my boyfriends. And if you can't handle that, if you don't like it, then you are no boyfriend of mine. Russia, October 1917. From Petrograd, a shock wave pulsed and widened through all this vast land, led to a widespread campaign against the entire Tsarist regime. In the public mind, this relationship assumed vast dimensions. It became the symbol of all Russia's ills. Frustration in the Petrograd food queues spilled over into revolt. People came out to protest, found many others there and took courage. Within days, the Tsar was forced to abdicate, and a 300-year-old dynasty came crashing to the ground. It's the man who can't roll up his sleeves. Hello, here I am ready to wash some dishes. Oh no!